Hi everyone, this is Alf Actinus from the Actiris team. Today I'm here to bring you another exciting demo utilizing our Actiris Excel online add-in and Actiris functions to be able to write back data directly from Excel into your Actiris database, displaying it in all of your various different reports hooked up to your Actiris database, such as those within Excel and Power BI. Now, before getting into the demo, I really want to talk about why the Excel online add-in and Actiris functions are such a game changer. As we all know, Excel is an extremely flexible tool. It allows you to build out complex models, then use formulas to consolidate your information into a nice reporting format. However, a big problem with Excel is its flexibility. There's the potential for human error where those that potentially make a formula mistake might potentially break a report and cause misinformation to happen within the business. There's also the issue with large models where Excel tends to slow down and even potentially crash. And when it comes to consolidation across many different models, it tends to be extremely, extremely tough for consolidation teams to be able to bring all this data together into a nice normalized fashion for reporting and for planning to report to management as well as their peers. This is where the Excel online add-in as well as Actiris functions really shine. You still get the flexibility of Excel while being able to utilize our Actiris functions to be able to write that data back to a consolidated database where it can then be utilized for standardized reporting very easily. So let me walk you through a demo that we've put together right here. We have an Actiris profit and loss projection model right here where we have a five-year projection of what our revenue, cost of sales, as well as various different expense lines are going to look like, and of course, what our profit is gonna look like in the future. Now, scrolling above, as we know, there's different driver-based components and different models that make up a profit and loss statement. For example, with revenue and cost of sales, we have a sales and cost of goods sold planning model where we can enter in units and prices in order to be able to calculate what our revenue and our cost of sales are going to be based on a gross margin and inflation rate and product price increase. So for example, if I were to increase the units for a couple of these items right here to 1,300, 1,100, and 700, and reduce our gross margin to 25% and 30% increase for this particular product, our cost of sales and our revenue are going to change on our profit and loss statement, changing our profitability. In other situations, we might have position planning where we are adding an additional full-time employee to our company. So I'm adding a full-time employee and then we have assumptions around, well, what is their bonus fringe at 401k match going to look like? And what's the base salary increase going to look like in the future? These are all things that you could program and of course change that will affect your profit and loss statement on your main report. And finally, we have our travel and entertainment planning where we have a certain number of travels we believe our employees are going to do throughout the years, as well as what the hotel and meal expenses and transportation expenses are estimated to be at, resulting in a total travel and expense line that we can then take to our profit and loss statement. So all these values right here are coming into our profit and loss statement right here. And of course, I can make a further adjustment such as increasing my sales and marketing hence increasing my future year sales and marketing, as well as other things like insurance, for example, uh, expenses in the future, all resulting in a certain profitability that we will see in the future. As all these changes are being made, what we can then do is create a separate spreadsheet, which is essentially a copy of our profit and loss statement, but this has a special purpose. This has our Actiris functions, such as our AEO send cell function, one of our Actiris functions that allows us to write back data to our target cube, which in this case is our Excel finance cube in our database right here. And all of these cells right here that we're pointing to, such as the organization name, the scenario, and then the year, are allowing us to be able to write back this data to a certain intersection. And not only can we do this from a bottoms up perspective, but we can also do this from a top down perspective as well. So notice that the cost of goods sold, which is a combination of four different products is where we're writing back to. So we can also write back at that level as well. Think about how much of a game change that is. You can continue to use your Excel functions as well as Excel models to be able to model out 
what your profit and loss statement in this case, for example, is going to look like. And then utilize our Actiris functions to be able to write back data to certain intersections of the data. And by simply changing our forecast to budget, we can change exactly where this data can be written back to. I'm going to leave it at forecast for now to show that this is where the data is going to be written back to. But think about how much of a game changer that is. And this is not only for financial planning and analysis. This can be for operational planning, supply chain, HR planning. Any sort of write back capability can happen with our Actiris functions here. And once you're satisfied, once you have made all your changes, all you simply have to do is hit the save icon right here. And what's going to happen is Actiris is going to save these values back to your database behind the scenes. So as that data is being saved back, we can head to Power BI where we can go and see our report from a Power BI perspective. And there's our data. So our data is now sitting within Power BI. And not only that, we also have the ability to utilize our Actiris matrix visual to be able to do things such as being able to change values directly within our Power BI report. So if I wanted to, for example, I can go ahead and edit my values. So if I wanted to edit my total revenue, such as increasing it by 20%, like I'm doing right here, changing the number to this number right here and saving, this is now adjusting my model and then adjusting my charts. So now I can bring my data from Excel, bridge the gap, utilize those Actiris functions to be able to move the data into a consolidated database. And now think about this, right? Think about how many other individuals can be doing this concurrently as well. They could all be utilizing the Actiris functions to write back data for different intersections. That data now all comes back into your consolidated model, which can be hooked up into Power BI. And then you can utilize our core visuals like the Actiris matrix visual to be able to write back data directly within Power BI, giving you a nice starting point. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo right here. I hope you see how much of a game changer this is and how you can apply this to any Excel model. So whether you are a user or an FP&A team or an operations team, whatever team that is requiring some sort of planning capability and you're looking to bridge moving Excel data into a consolidated database, this is a game changer for you. Or if you're a consultant looking to get companies that are utilizing Excel to come into a consolidated product, in this case, Actiris right here, this is a game changer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this session. This is Alf signing out. Thank you and looking forward to your feedback.